Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Um, I'm doing my first shave video, so um, don't beat me up too bad. Um, but I'm going to do my shave of today with um, a product from Monroe Shaving Company. And this is their black tea um, edition. So let's get started. Um, I've already taken a shower and um, got my face all wet. Face is nice and hydrated. Um, I've got a couple of days growth and you're going to have to pop. I've, I've got to apologize ahead of time. Um, <clears throat> I'm not a guy who can really grow a mustache and usually I clean shave every single day. But it is the month of November and in honor of men's health, uh, the guys at work are doing a, um, a Movember contest. And so, although I'm not really in it to win it, uh, I am participating and I don't grow mustache. I can't grow a mustache. So you're just going to have to excuse all that as you see this uh, little bit of uh, peach fuzz and, and dirt start to grow on my, on my face. But beyond all that, let's get started. I'm going to just uh, rinse my uh, face with a little bit of warm water. So for my pre-shave, um, I'm doing a my own mixture of uh, pre-shave oil, um, and this pre-shave oil is it's in a bottle, just an unlabeled bottle, um, but it is a um, citrus cedar oil. I really really like the smell of it, and it doesn't linger around very much, but it gives a it's just a pleasant beginning to a a routine shave. Put a few drops right there in my hand. And I'm a pre short shave oil guy. I really enjoy a pre shave oil. Um, I know it's kind of a controversial or one of those things where you really don't need it, and for the most part, most part you probably don't need it. But I very much enjoy them, so I'm going to use it. I find that after my shave is when I really can tell that I've used a pre-shave oil. If I don't use a pre-shave oil, which I don't, I don't use it every day. But definitely on uh, days where I've got a few days of growth, I'll put it on. And then I notice that after I'm, after I'm done shaving, in the aftershave portion, I can tell that I've used a pre-shave lotion. All right, so to soap, the soap I'm gonna be using is black tea from the Monroe Shaving Company. And this is what it looks like here. And I've used a little bit of it before. I really like the smell. It's uh, it's like fresh, you can, you can smell the uh, like black tea, like freshly um, brewed black tea with uh, some tobacco, um, there's a lemon orange, some bergamot in it, it smells really good. This is one of my favorite shaving soaps. And I'll be using, I'm gonna shake it out here, Parker 22, uh, was this there? Pure Badger, I believe. So, I'm gonna get a little bit of water in there. And I'm just going to go straight into the uh, into the cup here. Brush is a little bit drier than I usually have it, but that's okay. Just to add water. So how's everybody doing? Everybody having a good uh, had a good weekend? For me, this is a, a Sunday night, and this is a Sunday night shade, getting ready for Monday morning. <clears throat> had a pretty good weekend. Got rid of the kids for the weekend, uh, for the most part. Um, wife is sick, so it's been kind of me running around keeping things together while the kids are out, an extra honeydew list and things like that. So, all right, so that's gonna be good enough. There's plenty of lather in there. This stuff lathers up really quickly and really thick and nice, so I really, really enjoy it. Pardon me. Fill my sink up a little bit. Now I'm gonna straighten to the face.
I'm gonna go over my mustache area just so I can kind of trace out where I've where I've been. I don't want to get too close. Who am I fooling? Like I can grow a mustache. But I'm gonna pretend like I can this month. It's a uh, when you get to November, if you got guys that are actually gonna participate in it, it's really interesting to see all the guys like me who don't normally grow a mustache are gonna end up with a mustache in 30 days. At the end of the month, we'll take pictures and do the contest winner and all that. But what's interesting is on the back end, you get the guys like me who never uh, grow a mustache, get to see us grow one and try to grow one. But on the front end of the contest, all the guys that usually have a mustache have shaven off their mustaches. So we get to laugh at them in the front forefront of the contest, and then they all get to laugh at guys like me at the end. All right, so um, I'm gonna be using the uh, Parker Adjustable Variant. This is the charcoal handle. Really love this razor. And I'm gonna be using the Astra Super Platinum Blade in it. I'm just gonna load that up real quick. Really love this razor. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, first adjustable razor that I actually purchased and bought. Um, the other adjustables, some of them didn't stay where I had put them, like uh, the setting that I had put them on. But this uh, this Parker, man, it's it's right. Wherever you put it, it stays there. And I'm going to put this one on a three. I'll start right in the middle. Probably tone it down from there. But, uh, yeah, here we go. Very smooth. Love this blade. Love, love the well. Love the blade, but love the razor. So anyway, I wonder uh, any of you uh, doing a uh, November contest? Sorry, I'm trying to stay within the frame, and I think I'm kind of going out of frame. You'll have to. Pardon my rookie moves. So are any of you guys doing uh, any Movember contest or participating in Movember? Growing a mustache, growing a beard, anything like that? We got a little prize pack going at work. And the cool thing is about the criteria is not if you can grow one, it's pretty much how well you can grow one and style it. So it could be thick, it could be thin. Um, there's a few guidelines and rules, of course, of the contest, but for the most part, Whether you can really grow a mustache or not, doesn't matter. It's what you got. Can you style it? I'm not expecting to win anything in it. So, but like I said, I don't I don't normally grow a mustache, so this will just be fun to grow one. And yeah, you see me kind of leaving it long. Big, it won't look nothing like that. All right, I'm gonna rinse up for pass number two. <laughs> First pass was really nice.
All right, going with pass two. Here we go. This smells good. I know I don't have to do all that rubbing on my face, but it, this brush just feels so good. It's like your woman when she's scratching your back. It feels good. All right. Nice thick, creamy leather. All right, pass number two, I'm gonna dial it back just a little bit since I got the most of them. I'm gonna go ahead and go down to a one. Just clean up a little bit. Cross grain. I don't wanna to get too close to it. Mm. Mm. I didn't nick myself, I just got closer to that mustache area. I need every little bit I can get. Man, this thing is so smooth on number one. I know you can hear the feedback, <clears throat> but I mean... It's so smooth on number one. I didn't start with an adjustable. It wasn't my first razor. Um, I had three pieces in my first razor. This is my first adjustable. And I say when I uh, when I bought my first razor, I had the option. I nicked myself a little bit. Um, I had the option of getting an adjustable and I decided not to. And now that I have this adjustable, I wish I'd have gotten an adjustable the first time. No, it would not have been a Parker variant. I'm telling you what, for the price, good gosh. One of my favorite racers. You cannot go wrong with it. All right, gonna rinse and then we'll do a touch up. cream all over the place. This stuff is awesome. Alright. Trouble spots are under the neck for me. Especially right here. <clears throat> it's not a curly cue, but my hair grows really close to the skin and it's flat. I have to shave every single day or I get ingrowns. And when the weekend comes, I let it grow out a little bit. I let it grow out a little bit and I usually end up with an ingrown or two but Monday through Friday when I shave every day I don't have ingrown problems at all That's pretty nice won't be much of a touch up there we go we're still on number one for a touch up A little gas green action. Look, I 
good slickness on the soap. Ah, oh, it's underneath. Oh, I got a weeper right there. I'll take care of that in a minute. All right, that'll do it for a nice clean touch up. I'll rinse and uh, we'll do our aftershave. Some alum, alum block. So I noticed that a moment ago when I come across my mustache area, I actually, actually got it a little bit where it's hanging down here. I kind of shaved up a little bit on it. Dang it. That's all right. We've got 30 days. <clears throat> See, this is the five days into the contest. Not much hope for me. All right, a little bit of Allen Block on the face. Love my Allen block. You're not using an Allen block. You should be. Well, that's not bad. A little spiciness right there. Where little Nick was. That's all right. Took care of that. It just feels good on the face. I could probably sit there for hours and just rub that all over my face. All right. Love my Allen block. That's my second Allen block I've <clears throat> I've had to purchase. Uh, I had one that was a lot smaller than this one. This is a nice big one here. My other one was a, a really small one, and uh, slipped a little thing come flying out of my hand. And, uh, you know the rest of the story because it shattered into a bunch of pieces. <clears throat> All right, last but not least, yeah, the uh, black tea aftershave. I'll rinse this Allen block off my face first. Well, I'll put that on. So the aftershave smells just like the shaving soap. Um, it just has a the, the fragrance is just a little bit. It's not a cologne. Um, it's more of a, it's just like a skin conditioner with a fragrance in it, and it, it lingers for, for a couple hours. Alright, so, after shave time. Um, black tea, yeah. This black tea, um, after shave is, um, it's really a, uh, a really good skin conditioner. You can feel it all day long. Um, here's what it looks like. Black Tea, Monroe Shaving Company, Black Tea, Aftershave. Um, really good stuff. Um, it's, it's kind of a hybrid between a splash and a bomb. I guess it would really be a bomb, a bomb because of the fact that it's a, it's a moisturizer. Um, let's see, it has... Uh, Water, glycerin, hazelnut, um, oil, witch hazel, vitamin E, emulsifiers, uh, tapioca, coconut oil, um, sodium hydroxide, aloe vera, and fragrance, and optifin. And I think the, op the optifin is a um, optifin is a um, preservative because this is a water-based. Um, it's a water-based product really good so like I said I don't know it's not as it's kind of like a splash it's the best part of the splash um, 
because it's liquidy. Um, but it has the um, it has the um, properties of a, 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 a balm because it's such a moisturizer. But this stuff, when it goes on, it goes on and it's gone. That's it. So where a balm usually is um, like you rub it in and then you start trying to figure out where else to put it because you can't think of anywhere else to put it. This stuff soaks straight into the skin, feels so good, lasts all day long. And then the fragrance, like I said, lasts for several hours. Um, it doesn't last all day, but it does last several hours. But I put it on and it is gone. Like a splash, you put it on, you rub it in, and it just kind of evaporates away. Same thing, it's gone. It's not in the hands anymore. I love that about this. Um, usually with a balm, you know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out all the extra places to put it. So, but with this one, uh, this aftershave is really, really good. Um, Black tea um, aftershave by Monroe Shaving Company. Really enjoyed it. Um, so anyway, um, being my first shave video, I appreciate everybody paying attention. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna give out a, a shout out to uh, Shave Weiss. Um, he and I have emailed in the past a couple times and uh, he has used some of the Moreau Shaving Company uh, products and uh, I just want to say thank you to him for doing so and um, at the same time he uh, he's an Alabama fan um, and he really likes to uh, wear his Alabama t-shirt while he's doing his videos and shave so naturally um, being a Georgia boy I have decided to do the same thing go Georgia go dogs um, not trying to rub that in, but uh, he, uh, Herschel Walker was the last time that we ever saw number one. So I got to get my shots in when I can, and you can't blame me for that. So anyway, uh, thank you for everybody watching. Appreciate it. Um, if you like it, go ahead and like, um, put a like button, put a comment. You know, are you doing uh, the Movember? Are you not doing the Movember? Um, <clears throat> maybe you're doing just the shaves to clean things up, you know, and you're doing the whole beard uh, for Movember. I don't know. Um, got any contest? You got any contest going at work? Throw them down at the bottom. Yeah, we're doing a contest. Uh, if you got a prize pack, put the prize pack in. Um, uh, I may or may not let you know what a prize pack is for us at work. Uh, we have one, but uh, I won't tell you what it is just yet. But uh, <clears throat> if I win, I'm definitely going to tell you. So, probably not. All right, anyway, thanks guys. Hope you have a good day. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching and have a good one. Bye.